it's Gogo and it's K. Well, we are K and Gogo. We are in front of this beautiful church. It's called St. Anthony's Church and built in 1568 and dedicated to St. Anthony. It looks so beautiful. It's open the service. You can visit inside, no problem, but you have to dress right. We didn't know this church were here, so we just have shorts. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to go inside. But we can show you some of Goa's beautiful churches from the outside. And we're in a town called, what did you say? Sayolim. Sayolim, Sayolim. Sayolim or Sayolim, we're not quite sure Correct. how it's pronounced. But it's beautiful. And this church, wow, there's actually a service going on at the moment. And it is strict dress code, which is correct yeah. in a religious place. But we're going to be taking you along today and showing you some more of North Goa. We are already in love with North Goa. Yeah. Just look at this. We're sharing some more of Goa's beauty with you. What do you think, Gogo? It is unbelievable. Look it at that. It's beautiful, so calm. This river is so clean, clean as well. Clean the water. This believed is Chapora River. Yeah. We passed a big bridge, which is like you can't see yeah. on the camera, uh, to come here. Why it was worth coming here, it looks so calm and beautiful. So calm. And just to show you, obviously we've shown you some different beaches while we're in Goa. And we've shown you lots of Goan churches. And hopefully lots of Goan cows as well. And some rivers. I am excited because we are going to be having, like I'm going to be having something called Chicken Do Piazza. I never had it before and I not I never heard it before. I am actually looking forward to this chicken do piazza and plain rice and Kay is gonna have I am gonna have some squid golden fry because we're at the sea. So I'm enjoying having fish. Unfortunately there's music in here, so we might have to do a voiceover of the food depending on how loud the music is. They have turned it down a little bit, but obviously we can't expect them to switch music off for a whole restaurant, just so you guys can see us munching. Yeah, and also look at this water. Yeah. How clear is that? What about that for an amazing view? Wow, what an amazing place. Seascape waterfront. We had an incredible meal. I ordered chicken do piazza with plain rice only because I fancied some kind of curry and plain rice. And chicken do piazza, you can taste cardamom, the black cardamom, apparently they put in my, I taste cardamom really strongly. Coriander, black pepper, and some uh, garlic, onions was in there as well, and a big chunk of chicken and huge portion as well. And I enjoyed every bit of it. And Kay? Yeah, so I had some amazing golden fried squid and they were delicious. The squids themselves were so crunchy but not chewy. They were fresh and they came with a lovely kind of mayo that you dip the squid in and it had a, a zest of the lemon as well. It was really, really delicious and altogether a really good place that we highly recommend you coming along to try. Unfortunately, because of the music copyright, we were unable to film whilst we ate. So you never got to see Gokan stuff in his face, or maybe a little bit. I was so happy with that meal, to be honest. And it's a really, really, Good, good. It's not very expensive, that's what I'm yeah. trying to say. It's yeah. not really expensive. The amount of the portions really huge as well. Good like, quality. Yeah, quality is like top top class quality. 
and also like the case eight you seen that was only a starter and it was a huge yeah, portion mine was i had a to finish starter. it you finished it didn't yeah. you it was a huge portion and not only that but he didn't finish it as well but we also had a little kitty that come along and he got to have some chicken and some calamari as well he was so cute but just look at this the young boys are playing cookies and the cows are grazing in the fields. Goa is so magical. We've got a chapel here. Our Lady Pretty Chapel. And this is the Chapel of Anjuna. And we're loving all of the churches and the chapels around Goa. They're so pretty and the architecture. There's such a lovely Portuguese influence. And it's the following day and we're still adventuring. Gogo, what do you think of this view? The view is amazing. The climb is not. <laughs> <laughs> and we've came early to avoid the middle of the day. We would recommend that um, because it's quite a climb. Where are we at, Gogo? Chapora Fort and it's about 30 degree in the morning. <laughs> and it looks absolutely stunning, the view wish you could see clearly a naked eye but we can show you as much as we can yeah but it looks beautiful uh, speechless yeah speechless i can't stop looking at the view sorry yeah. wow it's so lush and we've got the sea down there with all the little boats um it's wonderful and gogo's already spotted the food on the stalls on the way in it's so beautiful and there's just some steps the steps are really gradual though aren't they still going up though yeah <laughs> <laughs> gogo doesn't like steps but you can see the fort here and we'll see more of it when we get to the top but so worth it we love it we're just so in love with goa here in the north of Goa, we in love with it, everything about it. And we're at the top, it's not a bad climb at all. Um, you can see that side there and the beaches down there. This side there towards um, the Baga beach where we were around that corner. And this one, I think, down here is Morgem Beach, up there. It's beautiful. Really, really beautiful. And this is the entrance here. Beautiful. What do you think, Gogo? Looks really nice. Looks, but I thought we were climbing up this high. I thought it was going to be a breeze. No breeze. It will, it will be in here. I told you the boy doesn't like walking. No breeze. Oh yeah, there is some in here. A little bit, <laughs> a little, bit, a little yeah. bit of a breeze in here. But it looks... So it says it's open from 10 o'clock till 5. And I think they're quick, quite strict after 5 that you cannot come in. Yeah. And that's probably for safety, which is understandable. Yeah. What about that for a view, Gogo? Looks Amazing. awesome. Yeah. Beautiful view. It is indeed. Yeah, look at this. Wow. I cannot wait to see around the other side as well. Yeah. To see what that's like. The few people here, considering it's quite early in the morning. This is the best time to come in. Yeah. Mm. Someone's staying in the shade out the way. Hello. Oh, you've got a pooly eye. Look at that view. It is so much bigger than I imagined this fort. It's really, really big. There's a lot of people here considering it's early. Chapora. Devanagazari. 
it used to be called Devana Gazari but it's Chapora now this fort is uh, over 400 years old wow. 1617 and first Portuguese and they made it brothers and then and 1683 Marathons took it over it's just came a long way what I'm trying to say is a I bet it was a beautiful, beautiful when it was first built and yeah. everything. Uh, the wall was very neat. Uh, it's just we are on a place over 400 years old. Wow. So it's just amazing to be here, and the view is outstanding. Yeah, they would have had a really good um, position with this fort, I think. Do you, Gogo? Mm -hmm. And is that like a watchtower there? Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like as though it's a watchtower. I'm not able to stand on the wall, but Gogo's standing on the wall and seeing the beautiful beaches down there. But you can stand on that wall as well. It is just... Mm. Incredible view. What about for any? Amazing. And this is the watchtower. Yeah. Which mm. we can go in. Which we can go in. The watchtower. And look at that view. And to think that it's that old, I don't know what this stone is made of, but it seems like volcanic, the stone. If anybody knows what stone it's made of, if you could please let us know in the comments. Gogo said he's just got to climb and go down and I'm like, don't go scaring me, Gogo. He said, no, he's making some reels. So he just means the angle of the camera. So fright is over. But wow, this is beautiful. Really beautiful. I think it'll be all different angles, won't it? All the yeah. way around. So yeah. pretty much we can do sort of like a circle round. I love forts and I love castles as well. I love architecture in buildings what amazed me about this fort and these castles they are like hundreds of years old you love them too don't you Google? i love them because like you say the architecture the way they built back in days with no uh, machinery. machinery just with manpower and they are still standing strong it's like it's just amazing like it just uh, makes me feel like what were they using just with human power, not machinery, mm. to make it this strong? These days we can't make it. Mm. But what's this stone? I don't know. I said it, it to me it feels like it's volcanic, yeah, but metaphor. I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Some people have climbed up on the wall a little bit, but I definitely will not be climbing up on the wall. And I won't be climbing up on the wall because, because someone won't be allowed. Yeah, someone won't let me. Because I'm a worrier and I worry about things like that. So you can climb on that little step down yeah, there, go. I'm allowed on the steps. Yeah. But not the wall. Not the walls high up, no. I wanna go on that one. You're going on that one? Yeah. I'm just taking care of him because if I wasn't here, he'd be climbing up. Probably having it. Oh, go go! Just a little step in here. Oh, Look see at what this. he does to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that's okay then. But this is incredible. Like you like it? This. Look at this. Amazing. And I can climb on this little bit, yeah. carefully, and just sit on here. 
and enjoy this beautiful breeze and beautiful view definitely don't come at midday no yeah because there's no shelter or shade obviously yeah, so it's you know open space in the sunshine so we do advise come in morning or maybe early afternoon and we do, forgot five. to yeah before five but we forgot to tell you also as well there's no entry fee for this fort so it is free of charge yeah because people mainly stand on this site and this site has been like overcrowded with the bushes with and the bushes little trees yeah. so so this whole place has been built for watch out what's coming from the sea yeah all around it's a huge square as well yeah. like it has to it's on a big bay and it's covered all areas so everyone is watching so we found one and a entrance through the bush and you can see this part of the bay down there and all of the beaches it is spectacular i really do not think that probably it's going to show as well as what it actually is but it's unbelievable isn't it it is yeah we got some iphone footages if you go check our shorts there will be like iphone footages they are like yeah. more zoomed in footages zoomed in. so you can see more clearly yeah. on and the shorts they will be yeah unfortunately with the gopro you can't zoom in so and it's quite a small screen for us to understand what you can see especially when it's bright and sunny uh, but it's so beautiful if you haven't been to goa i would definitely recommend it um, we're looking forward to going south and adventuring that part of Goa too. If you have been to Goa, let us know in the comments and let us know also if you came here or what your favourite part of visiting Goa was. Because up to now we've had some amazing western foods um, and we've seen some beautiful sights. We've loved the tranquility. And also you've got the party vibe if you want that as well. Me and Gogo are not big partiers. Um, but, you know, if you like that type of thing, there's lots of party atmosphere for you too. So Go has got something for everyone, I feel. And Go has got something for in the middle of nowhere, up in the high, quite high, in this fort, empty KFC bucket. Oh, uh, yeah. Like nearest KFC is quite miles away, mm, and <laughs> come, taking your KFC, coming up here, eating it, and throwing your rubbish. Yeah, it's this such is, a shame. This is not acceptable. Yeah, we do. We can't understand why people throw rubbish. It happens everywhere in the world. So not just here, but it's so sad when it's, you know, important sites like this one, and people are just disrespecting the land. We don't like it, no. but it happens everywhere. It We're happens not everywhere. saying only here in Goa. All around the world. Everywhere. All around, the, around world. the world. It's not just in Goa. Yeah. I just generally people do this as this yeah. me. I'm not actually talking about India in here. I'm talking about the in world general, yeah. in general. We found it a lot in Turkey when we had yeah. a recent yeah. trip to Turkey. We couldn't understand people throwing rubbish around the beach. Beautiful beach and lots yeah, of rubbish. Not just around the beach, Happens everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. It really does. Yeah. As a Turkish, I'm ashamed of them people and I don't like seeing things like that. It's not just in Turkey or India. In England it happens as well. England's terrible, especially throwing cigarette butts on the yeah. floor in England. But there's a 60 pound fine on that one yeah. if you get caught. Yeah. What are these boys doing? Looking at the rubbish, trying yeah. to find something to food in there. Looks like coconut. Yeah, lots of coconut. Coconut. Coconut scrap. Coconut, coconut scrap. scrap. Ah, oh. coconut scrap this man's. Thank you, thank you. Coconut scrap. Ah. We go slowly. Recycling, yeah. They have good for recycling. Recycling. They're gonna make what they're gonna make what, for them. What, what do they make from it? Uh, made for this uh, mm, uh for uh, purpose of uh, something uh, this uh, urea and uh, this thing you know uh, for for fertilizer for fertilizer, fertilizer. ah for fertilizer. we we saw also as well they use it to make inside the mattress where yeah, you mattress sleep also yeah is there mattress for uh, 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 
upper layer is doing for mattress yes and lower layer uh, doing uh, fertilizer fertilizer ah that's yeah. really interesting that's good good that they reuse uh, 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 something uh, plant is there and, uh, two plants okay. is that one is uh, in mapsa i think and one is uh, karwari ah yeah thank you so much thank you for the information bye bye, bye, -bye. Namaste. How are you? All right. Fixing them. Wow. You go to fishing as well, or just fixing them? You go to fishing as well. Wow. There's a tent next to fishing tent i think that's where they live as well because i can't say i don't want to go inside i can't see a bed in the tent as well and this must be here it's got numbers cubicles yeah one two three four five six seven eight nine this is chapora beach yeah and this must be here like fish auction kind of yeah when the fishmongers come in come in and sell their fish in here that's what I'm actually that's my opinion again please correct me if I am wrong fisheries yeah oh, wow. oh did he catch him? yeah fisherman's boats So beautiful. So relaxing, yeah. And yeah, lots of little and big boats for fishing are here. Well, I want to say something. We don't even know where we are. We are in some part of the world, in India, in Goa, on this bay. We do know. It's yeah, no, as in like, we didn't plan coming yeah. here. Ah, yeah. We didn't plan coming here, that's what I wanted to say. It's yeah. just like, we just come out and discover places. Mm. And this is, I'm glad we came here. It looks absolutely beautiful. Look at this beauty. Mm. And all over. And sea breeze is actually brilliant. Mm. Very, very nice. Yeah. Maybe one of those ones, yeah. do you think? Because... Oh yeah, they couldn't jump down. Oh, uh, but well, these boats, look at the wood. The wood and the craftsmanship. Look at the wood, it's... It's amazing, the wood. And I would imagine they've got to have really big nails and things so they don't rust and rot. Wonderful. Beautiful. So it looks as though the beach continues round there. And um, as I said, it's called Chapora Beach where we are. And it's so tranquil. So we're going to spend a few hours here. Gokun's gone to get some water. So we're not dehydrated. And we're just going to sit and enjoy the nature, all these, I don't know if they're called um, stalks looking for fish and we're watching them dive down and um, catch the fish. They're so cute. What are you doing, boy? Ow! <laughs> are, you, are you checking the rocks? Is it shells? What are these things? What are they? That's a little baby one. What? Quick, 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 quick. Little baby uh, what? You know, crabs is it? Oh, it's a crab, Gokan. 
It's Ooh. running away from you. It's running away from Gokan. Oh, it's going in my bag. No, it's gone in the hole. You need it to come back, otherwise it needs to go okay. in the water. Hello. 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 Are you going fishing? Yes, yes. yes. Ah, enjoy and good yeah, luck. <laughs> so many gorgeous shells crab. here. Crab. Crab. Crabs. Ah, crabs. Yeah, but they are actually just... Really they're running strong. away from Gokan because they know that he's going to eat them. So why Gokan is enjoying oh, another them? another one. That's a bit bigger. Why Gokan is enjoying the water and checking out the rocks, I can have a look at these lovely shells. Wow, this is so cool. <laughs> and you know something which I couldn't believe when we were around there? I never realised that there was crocodiles here. There's what? <laughs> really? What? Crocodiles. They've got crocodile tours. Where are you going? Where are you going, Gogo? -go? This is what I mean, darling. Yeah. This is what I mean. That's why. Look at that. Plus. Dangerous. It is dangerous. But you can get that on any beach, not just here. No, it's full inside. What about the crocodiles? Uh, it's all right. They get scared of me because I will eat them. Have you eaten crocodile? I don't mind. No, but I don't mind eating them. They mm. look nice and delicious. Crocodile barbecue. And there's a little shrine. So one lady's told us the beach is clearer further ahead. So we're just going further ahead. There are so many of these crabs. I don't know if you can see them. Lots of tiny, tiny crabs. You have to be really careful not to stand on them. Oh, no. oh they're going in little holes in the sand. Yeah. Mm. It's in the little temple. Yeah, there's a little temple there. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself, boy? It's a hard life in this Christmas time. Just having a hard life in Arabian Sea. Look at this. No one, just one, one lady. One other lady. And that's us. Next to our temple. Next to a little shrine here. And a temple on the temple other side. Temple side. on the other side there. Hot, like warm water. Sea water is really warm. Sun is actually strong. I'm trying to get browner. <laughs> man catching the fish he says he caught some or one <laughs> i don't know how am i gonna see it on the rocks in the bag <laughs> holy moly look at them there's bag full of fish in here About 10, 11. Good job, good job. Good job, about 10, 11 fish in there. It's amazing. And it's only been like, what, an hour or something like that. He's doing a good job. Yeah, there's about 10, 11 fish in there. And I'm getting shells. Oh, nice. Yeah, so we're there. <laughs> Are you gonna keep there? Yeah. Get last. Yeah, it's just on there. He's got about like 10, 11 fish on the, wow, in the back. amazing. Yeah. Well, it's been an amazing experience in here. Now we've got an army waiting for us. Oh, I'm in Yeah. So we think this is a temple, but we're not sure. It says Sri Sideshwa Devastan. We're not sure, it doesn't really say it. And to be honest, we're not dressed appropriate to go in a religious place. So we don't want to go even going through the gates and being disrespectful, but it looks so beautiful. What a day. 
we started our day amazingly and went to beach incredible and we start hunting for food because as always I'm hungry unfortunately in Goa 95% maybe more restaurants are playing music and we found one restaurant on the corner looks really nice and I asked is there any way I can have something Goan and the answer we are in Goa by the way and there's no Goan food in this restaurant which they got lots of curries and everything on the menu but nothing go on nothing go on i mean it's not a disappointing thing it's actually a shame because if you are in goa if you have a business in goa you should have a restaurant you should have your goan food yeah yeah at the end of the day we're gonna have they something had a to page eat of going food but they said that they didn't have nothing available from that page yeah. so we're having food but just not going food but yeah. we've got still another week here yet so we're going to have loads of opportunity to yeah. show you some going food yeah. as well definitely 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 i'm absolutely starving at the moment so you're not bothered what it is no i was gonna go for i'm not gonna lie i was gonna go for tandoori chicken and i thought you know what you keep having the tandoori chicken so stay away from that page and i'm gonna have something indian yeah can't wait for it and the other thing to say is as well thank you to um, the person who recommended that we eat vindaloo which we didn't realize was going so we're definitely going to try that yeah definitely there's a new dish I'm gonna try it out today chicken palak which I'm in love with I love uh, spinach and palak is spinach and I'm looking forward to it yes plain rice again because plain rice is cold yeah the rice was cold I don't know can you please let us know with the comments most of the places we visited the rice is cold and for me rice has to be hot i can't eat cold rice can you please let us know in the comments down below why the rice is cold thank yeah, you thank you thank you very much thank, thank you, thank you. So oh yeah. yeah thank you Good. now, now that's what you're rice. talking about yeah that's hot rice and we got garlic cheese naan mm. oh that smells really nice and garlicky and yeah. we got sweet corn See. Who's that for? Not for me. <laughs> That's for me. So That's what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my rice. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That looks good. Oh my God, look at this. This is heaven. Oh. oh. Rice looks really good. <laughs> that is not going to be like no rice left on this plate today. Oh, look at that. Look at that beauty. I think that's enough for now. That's for the show off. Mm. Mm. Oh, nice, nice bit of spinach in there. Mm. Wow. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Is it spicy? No. Tell me what it tastes of. You can stop eating for <laughs> one second. Spinach, cardamom, garlic, peppers, all hits in. And the chicken gives the perfect combination. This is really good. I love chicken. I absolutely love chicken. But chicken with palak, which is spinach is really really tasty i'm really i'm gonna enjoy this whole food i'm gonna actually enjoy this food you know what this food and this have one mm. A 
I've never actually had this flavoured curry before and although I'm not eating the chicken the sauce is delicious with the rice it's so good I think the spinach makes it extra the spinach spinach we love spinach anyway but it's so creamy but spicy kick as well it's really good and the, the rice quality I like that mm. like this dip it in to that lovely sauce or gravy or whatever it's called That is heaven. Mm. One thing I love is this sweet corn soup. It's got no meat in, but it's just like a clear soup. And I really like it because I feel like it's healthy. I don't know if it is. So if you know, please let me know in the comments. But I've been eating quite a lot of this and I really like it. It's got some ginger in there and lots and lots of spring onions and it's so sweet. The sweet corn is so fresh and so crunchy. I want Gogo to try it. Really good. It's good, isn't it? Have some more. She's got some little carrots in there. And like a little bit of a kick of chilli, but it's sweet, isn't it? The sweet corn is so sweet. So delicious. Wow. This is really good. I don't know about anyone else, but me and Gogo often share food. So we'll usually not order the same thing so that we can share it. So do you share food with your friends if you go out eating or even with your partner or your husband or your children? We love doing that. You get to taste more. Exactly. And in Gogo's case. You finish it all. <laughs> <laughs> that curry is delicious, Gogo. It is. So it might not be going, but you've been wanting this dish, haven't you? Spinach, it's basic. Mm. We came home, freshen up, shower, everything, and I went out, sneaked out to get some more food. <laughs> I got, I seen a burger one. Go on, take away. Go on, take away. Uh, I seen a burger and I said, I'm gonna go get some food because we are hungry again. But this time, it has been like this part of Goa been absolutely amazing loved every moment of it it's been absolutely incredible please 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 let us know in the comment what should we eat on our next location destination well thank you so much for watching from Gogo is a goodbye and from K is a goodbye and thank you so much for watching bye from both of us bye, bye from, from both, both of us, us.